Good evening my friends Setting down of the sun uh, I'm just going for a, a quick ride round this evening And uh, thought as I haven't made a video for a while I'd combine the two things so it's not going to be terribly exciting scenery or anything. Oh. I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear me all right because as you can see I've got a new screen on. Well it's not new, it's a, it's a cut down screen uh, somebody left it for me <coughs> by my gate <coughs> excuse me I don't know who it was that left it but I do remember someone telling me they had a <coughs> excuse me they had a cut down screen And there it is. It didn't quite fit. It's this bike in front of me looks like an old Triumph. An old number plate. Doesn't that look nicely? Oh, he's going that way. Yes, I think it, I think it is an old triumph. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, my <coughs> my new screen. It's actually been cut down from a, a taller screen, obviously. <coughs> it didn't quite fit. The uh, holes didn't fit the screws properly. So I've only got two of the holding screws in place. <coughs> so it's not off a Himalayan obviously but uh, I'm very grateful to whoever left it and I'm sorry I can't remember who it was I spoke to about it but uh, <coughs> after this video we'll know if it's done the trick regarding the wind noise I can feel wind hitting my face now, but it's not buffeting as bad as it used to. <coughs> the funny thing is, I don't get a buffeting at all when I when I don't actually have a screen on. Wow, that sun was bright. But I want to have a screen on because I... Uh, What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm, I forgot where my indicators were then. Uh, thought I was on the Sportster and I pressed the start button. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I want the screen to protect the binnacle. That's the idea of it. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me now. <coughs> wind is really hitting me hard and I'm only doing 50 <coughs> well, I'm doing 60 now what the answer will be except to leave the screen off altogether
what gear I was in then. Every time I come off the sports and get on the Himalayan, I, I seem to have to relearn things. course on my right Talk, I'm going to cough, I know that. Another problem has to be solved. That pub, that used to be a pub on my right, it used to be called the Labour in Vain. I think I've told you this before. And the pub sign was a picture of a white nursey type lady washing a white, a black child. presumably attempting to make them white and that was why the pub was called the labour in vain uh, so obviously that sign had to go in today's woke sort of climate very nice now at this time of the evening it's about half past eight night what else can I talk about oh I got an, I got a letter yesterday from the debt collection agency Moorcroft they want me to contact them urgently Apparently, it's from O2, uh, have given them my debt to collect. Uh, let's go down here. Um, O2 have given them the debt to collect. Despite the fact that all the, all the while I've been on O2, I have paid my bills by direct debit every month without fail and yet still somehow I owe <coughs> O2 or Telefonica as they're called I owe them 51 pounds or 54 pounds something like that and they've sent sent the, sent the sent it to this Moorcroft debt, debt collection I just don't, there's no way I can cure this issue, it's definitely not a scam. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of sinkholes in this road. Yeah, it's definitely not a scam. 
I mean, why would you scam someone for that small amount? For a start. So, despite the fact that I know I don't owe them any money, and despite the fact that when I phone them up to ask how much I owe, they always say you don't owe anything. Despite that, I've still got this debt to 54 or 51 pounds. And I'm, go I'm going to pay it. I'm going to pay it tomorrow. It's going to affect my credit rate uh, rating if I don't. Not that, not that having a good credit rating will make much difference to me these days. So I'll just have to pay it and uh, I've got a phone number to speak to someone about it at, uh, at the debt collection so I'll explain it to them see what they say but I suspect they're just interested in collecting the debt that they think I owe <laughs> so there you go going to lose 54 quid or is it 51 or 50 I'm not sure I like this little lane uh, yeah so I'll just pay it get it off, get them off my back and then I'll I'll instruct a, a solicitor to get my money back I won't really because that would cost a lot of money that's what I should do and then I should bloody well sue them for harassment and causing me stress <sighs> of course it will turn out in the end that that I do owe them money and uh, somewhere along the line they've charged me for something that I wasn't aware of I can't think of anything else. As I say, I've paid the I've paid it up front every month since I got the phone, I don't know, about three years ago. <coughs> and uh, it's paid by direct debit. Anyway, that's that little saga. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, I know it'll just end up with me paying 50, 50 odd quid that I don't owe anyone. Oh, didn't see him. A grey car coming along a grey road. It's a bit dodgy with no lights on. But it's not lighting up time yet anyway. It's, uh, able to hear everything I've been saying <coughs> look at my new windscreen on my new old windscreen it, it needs uh, tidying up a little bit there a bit rough and I'll put I'll put that bit of uh, window seal thing I've got on it Yeah, so I'm sorry I can't remember your name, who we spoke to about it, or who left it for me. But I really am appreciative, thank you very much. back home and uh, I think the co-op's still open I'll pop in there and get myself I don't know a cake although it's Sunday today I didn't uh, have a Sunday dinner <coughs> in fact all I've had today is a uh, I had some toast this morning two slices of toast and uh, 
in the afternoon I had a, a Ginster's pasty. <laughs> Oh, it's quite nice actually in the Kinsters Pasty. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, I had a Kinsters Pasty with baked beans. Very nourishing meal. well there goes the sun down over there look can you see that it's like it might be a nice day tomorrow again bye bye for now bye Hello my doggy. Hello, <laughs> I'm back. Nothing to worry about, was there? Hey? Good girl, she's a good girl. Say goodbye. Say hello.